We are asked to solve and check the given linear equation in one variable. To solve the equation means to determine the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we must isolate the variable on one side of the equation. Notice how the given equation does contain decimals. Looking at the two decimals, because we have two decimal places, we do have an optional step to multiply both sides of the equation by 100 to clear the decimals from the equation before solving, which we will do in another video. But in this video, we will solve the equation in its current form. So beginning with the given equation, the first step is to simplify the left side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. Here we distribute 0 0.15. 0 0.15 times x is 0.15x plus 0 0.15 times 10 is 1.5. Because of the subtraction here, we will think of distributing negative 0 0.08. Negative 0 0.08 times x is negative 0.08x, which gives us minus 0.08x. And then we have negative 0.08 times negative 50, which is positive 4, giving us plus 4. And this is equal to 2. The next step is to combine like terms. We have two x terms, and we have two constants. 0.15x minus 0.08x is 0.07x. 0 1.5 plus 4 is 5.5, giving us plus 5.5. This is equal to 2. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term to undo plus 5.5 we subtract 5.5 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 5.5 minus 5.5 is zero. We have 0.07x equals two minus 5.5 is equivalent to two plus negative 5.5, which is negative 3.5. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for x. 0.07x means 0.07 times x. To undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide by 0.07. Simplifying on the left, this quotient is one. One times x is x. We have x equals negative 3.5 divided by 0.07. Because we have a negative divided by a positive, the quotient is negative. And now it's determined 3.5 divided by 0 0.07. The first step is to make the divisor a whole number. To do this, move the decimal two places to the right, and now we do the same in the dividend. Replace the missing digit with a zero, move the decimal point up into the quotient. And now we determine how many sevens in 35, which is five. Five times seven is 35. Subtract, the difference is zero bring down the next zero, determine how many sevens in zero, which is zero. Zero times seven is zero, subtract, the difference is zero. So the quotient is not 50, it's negative 50. And therefore the solution is x equals negative 50. Before we go though, let's check the solution by making sure if we substitute negative 50 for x, it does satisfy the equation. Performing the substitution gives us 0 0.15 times the quantity negative 50 plus 10 minus 0 0.08 times the quantity negative 50 minus 50 equals two. And now we simplify inside the parentheses on the left. Negative 50 plus 10 is negative 40. Negative 50 minus 50 is negative 100. 0 0.15 times negative 40 is equal to negative 6. And then we have minus 0 0.08 times negative 100, which is negative 8. Subtracting negative 8 is equivalent to adding positive 8, giving us negative 6 plus 8 equals 2. Negative 6 plus 8 is equal to 2. 2 equals 2 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.